This is Harlem, USA, a bustling epicenter of energy in northern Manhattan. Harlem is also the spiritual home of basketball. The game may not have been invented here, but this is where basketball got its strut. What better place in Harlem, and who better than NBA Commissioner David Stern, to have a casual conversation about basketball with some friends? I invited the commissioner to come uptown to my turf at Mosaic Cuts Barbershop on Amsterdam Avenue in the heart of Harlem. <laughs> to my surprise, he accepted the offer, and for one afternoon, the commissioner was just one of the guys in the barber's chair. He loved the dress code. I hated the dress code. But I thought, I thought, I thought you know what I thought the dress code did? Yeah. I thought, you know, that, I was telling you, for all the money you're making, you know, you could go around and tell everybody, oh, I, I make, you know, somebody could tell you, you know, that I don't care how much money you're making, you better wear a tie. And the, and the question becomes, who are we trying to placate? Who are yeah. we playing to when we did that? Who are we well, playing to? Well, first of all, it wasn't about wearing a tie. So the, the dress code was wear a pair of shoes, wear a pair of jeans, and wear a shirt with a collar. Show what we were trying to do as part of a process is demonstrate respect for the game. The game to me means hard work and dedication. Now, hard work and dedication doesn't necessarily balance out into a shirt time. You're right, you're right. But because the hard work and dedication was there, and then a guy comes and sits on the bench looking like he's at the beach, uh, it, it detracts from what's going on. Do you think that's an officially licensed shirt or are all those logos illegal? Uh, uh, this is Let me just check that out here. Uh -oh. <laughs> if a player is really, really good and he's in high school, why did the NBA take that rule away that you must attend college before you can be a member of the NBA? Well, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, first of all, let me say that football has a rule that you got to spend three years in college. you got to be a college junior. The NBA has a rule, you gotta be a year out of high school. You don't have to go to college. You can go to Europe, you can go to the NBA Development League, you could do nothing, you can go to college. We think it's good for our business. Was that a real tough decision to make? When you no, actually, make we were, you know, we got a lot of teams paying a lot of money and, and swarming all over high school gyms. And we thought that we would like to extract our scouts from the high school gyms. We didn't do it as a social program. This is not us telling us, telling kids you've got to go to college. We're saying it's better for our business if we get to look at you for a year. That's Bro, it. Aren't you scared that you know, uh, you'll know lose a lot of players to your overseas? No. I mean, I'd rather get paid in euros than dollars. Yeah, yeah. no, that's a, you know, the man is an <laughs> international <laughs> economist, yeah. okay? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, that's, that's a serious question. No, that is a serious question. If and go, If they go overseas, they may not come back. I'll tell you the truth. The, we're going to deliver $2 billion to our players this year and every year. Uh, and there's no system out there that's going to deliver this kind of money as a group. And in fact, the balance of payments is coming this way. Mm -hmm. Called Nowitzki, Yao Ming, Ginobili, oh, yeah. Parker. I mean, we're actually, one of the biggest problems in Europe is they feel that we're taking their best players. Like the Artest situation. Don't forget the Artest situation, Kenny, started off with him and Ben Wallace. That's right. He didn't win on Ben Wallace. That's right. But little Mickey Rivers through the, through the couple <laughs> of the things, he went into the stands. But that's why I said, ben I, I, I had a major problem with someone throwing a liquid on someone. Because we don't know what that liquid could have been. The wrong guy at that, so that guy does But forget it, the You're wrong right. guy. He, this man is right, but the, guy. but the criminal system actually dealt with the guy that tossed it. He, he should have been dealt with. He was thrown out, he was not, never to be allowed back in, and charge, criminal charges were pressed. He's gonna keep cutting on Bill until he's bold, okay? <laughs> this is, I can, you know, this is great. Okay. He doesn't have that much, he doesn't have that much left. The Knicks have got it. I don't know, it's LeBron coming here, something, because there's nothing to talk. I mean, every, every single basketball season, there's nothing with tears, there's nothing with tears here. Wait a minute, The floor is like the tear, Knicks no, tears. No, 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 they're doing it the old-fashioned way. They're doing it year after year. They won 23 games two years ago. 32 games last year. You gotta, you know, and that's what they, that's what, that's what teams do. And then the, now the question is, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do this year? Dave, one last, one last question. 
profound question. Who's going to win the NBA championship? I, I know. I just can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Dave, thanks so much. Thanks for great. having me. Right, okay. Pleasure. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> okay, nice we got to do this, uh, you know, once a week.